Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. So I'm here today to show you uh, how to build um, a camera slider, a cheap camera slider where, where, that you can build yourself. Uh, it's super simple to build and will be something like this. This is the slider. This is a big one. It's a one meter slider that it has. You can use it to do some sliding. With this uh, slider, you um, can make some smooth movements and with your camera and have nice shots. So for building this slider, you will need the main part is the, the rail where the slide will go. This is aluminum profile. Uh, this is 40 by 20 aluminum prof profile, but it's this slot aluminum profile. This profile is made for special for 3D printers. Most of uh, the new 3D printers use this profile. So I have this laying around in my house because I, I, I have built some 3D printers in the past. So I use this. You can have the length that you want. As I said, this one has one meter and this is going to be a little smaller. Uh, this is a part that I have to show you how to assemble this. You will need the, the the wheel. This is the the wheel that you have to use. This is the V slot wheels. Uh, they are very cheap. Also, you will need four of them. You will need four uh, bolts. I use this uh, socket head bolts. Exact socket head bolts. They are um, M5 by 35 millimeters. M5 thread by 35 millimeters long. You will need eight M5 um, nuts and eight M5 washers and four M5 by 20 uh, bolts for the top of the um, of the rail that I will show you later. Then you, you will need the. Uh, Two 3D printed parts that are going to be assembled like this. So this is the bottom and the top one. Uh, the top, the bottom one has the place for um, the. Uh, you will also need. I was forgetting the um, one quarter twenty uh, bolt for the head of the tripod for attaching the, the the head of the tripod so this has the place for the head goes for um, don't allow the the bolt to rotate inside so as you can see it has this grooves here this here but this is for a later product that I will tell you and in the corners the four uh, holes for the wheels to go. The top one has also the middle uh, hole for the, um, the bolt, for the 1 quarter 20 bolt and the four uh, holes for the um, bolts for the wheels and also more for bolts for that other project that I will show. If you can see here On the corners, you will set, see that already has the um, the nuts inserted over there, and the holes are the same uh, design as the nuts. They are hexagonal holes for allowing the nuts to be press fitted and be over there. So, and as I mentioned, this is the um, the part that is going to be bolted to the top of the, the rail for uh, avoiding the slider to come out of the rail and to be more uh, beautiful. So let's go to the computer and I will show you the 3D printed parts uh, that I designed on Fusion 360. So let's go. So here we are at the computer and this is the Fusion 360, where I build all the my parts. 
So this is the top part, as I've shown you before. It has the, the holes, uh, the four holes in the corners where the wheels go from on the top side, they are hex um, holes for putting the nuts. Uh, the other plate is the same as I've shown you. Here is, uh, is the eggs uh, uh, hole for the nut of the one quarter twenty uh, um, bolt, and here are the the screws for the wheels and the other slot that I, it's for the other project. This is the um, the top for the rail. The rail goes for there. Here is the the holes for mounting the screws and they are recessed so the head of the screw will be inside and here is the eggs uh, nut for mounting your um, plate for your um, head and here is the the foot support this will these two um, holes are for attaching to the um, the rail and this are for attaching the, the the feet but this is a work in progress because I want to make something different uh, I want to 3d print um, the feet so when I will do it I add it to the, the STL files that are linked down on the description for you to download so let's assemble all of this and I will show you how to do it Now let you see, you see in the pictures. Now, now let's assemble um, this. Let's start by assembling one wheel. That is very simple. So you grab the M5 by, by 35. You put the wheel. You put a washer. You put a nut. You will thread all the way down against the washer. You don't need to tighten this. Now you put another washer on top. Now you grab the the two plates, open it, you put the the quarter twenty in the middle hole, you align it with the bottom part and now like this you will put the wheel on the bottom so the quarter twenty is over here and the wheel go on the other side so we go like this and you will also need the allen key for putting this don't tighten them because you need to put the other wheel now let's grab another wheel that is also assembled and i will put all the rest three okay now it's assembled Let's take the aluminum profile. The aluminum profile has two holes along the rail. You have to tap this. I, uh, I tapped it to M5 because it's the screws that I'm, the bolt that I'm using. So you, they are uh, with a dimension for M5. So this is why I'm using M5. Now you put them on top like this and you will tighten them like that on this piece as you can see this is a, an exit uh, hole from this side and this as a round one so the egg is up and let's mount the the carriage into the rail so the carriage as i said has these two holes here so this will be on the side so you have to put the rail through the other way like this and there you have it it's sliding like this now you have to put the other piece the other top remember to put the eggs up like this and now it's finished, almost finished. Now this won't get out of the rail because it will stop on this. And I will show you in the other one, you can put on the tops, 
you can put the the plate for your um, tripod head. I use Arca Swiss on all my uh, tripods, so as you can see on this side, I have the Arca Swiss plate mounted in here, and also I've added these legs. I will also include the parts that you need, the 3D printed part for assembling this. Uh, and I'm designing uh, a leg, a 3D printed leg that you can uh, attach here directly. But if you are using uh, this on tripods, or you can also use it on um, light stands that are much cheaper and you can put it on light stands also. So as you can see, it's a easy project that you can make. It's cheap. Uh, I will have the, the links for all this material uh, on the description, down on the description. And if you need any help, please ask me. Uh, I will have the pleasure to answer for your question. And in my next video, I will show you how you can motorize uh, this slider uh, and uh, an extra tip for that. Uh, so I hope to see you there. If you like this, please hit the like, subscribe and the notification bell to be notified for the next video. And I hope to see you there. So bye.